Dessert wines are not there to be drunk with dessert. They are to be drunk instead of dessert. You can keep them for a century and they will still be pristine. They're kind of a freak of nature. And I was like, it's not that bad what my parents are doing. Actually, I like it. And on a certain point, I was like, I want to be a winemaker. It's fantastic. That's what I love. The world was flooded with cheap German wine. I mean, horrible stuff. And people said, Riesling is sweet. And what they meant is, Riesling is sweet and boring. Despite its glorious history, Mosel was in dire straits. I took it over in the harvest of 87 and immediately decided we do everything different now. But actually we didn't know how. Sometimes I would them to listen more, but they won't. But I still remember I did the same with my father. When I told him I will do an apprenticeship, he said this was the best moment since you were born. We will see in the next years. I can't wait to visit for the first time when I sit down with her to taste the wine. Austria was hit by a wine scandal. It was a small number of large commercial wineries who got into this dumb shit. Quality producers in the Wachau understood that the only way forward was quality. We both liked to do the whole procedure of winemaking. So a second winery had to be organized. Oh, my father didn't like the idea at all. For me personally, what defines Germany is thrilling bone-dry Riesling that is for adults only. <laughs>